Oh, thank you, guard. Another letter from my dear son, Timothy. I hope things are going better than they were in his last letter to me. <sighs> Timothy, a servant of Christ Jesus, to Paul, an apostle of Christ, my teacher, mentor, and adopted father in the Lord Jesus. We pray for you every day that God will ease your sufferings and release you from prison soon to once again be with us. We praise God for the work that you are doing even in prison and for those who have come to know Christ through your witness. We are facing great persecutions here from those outside our body. Many of our members have been beaten and jailed. Some have even been killed for the sake of Christ. There are also those who have infiltrated our body and are preaching a gospel that is not what we first heard from you. I know what they are teaching is wrong, but I don't have the wisdom and understanding of the scriptures to counter what they are saying. Many are being led astray by their sweet speech and silky tongues. I wish you were here with us. I know that you would confront these false teachers and cast them out with one passage from the scriptures, but I do not know where to begin looking for such a passage. Please, give me direction. Priscilla and Aquila are doing all they can to help me, and as always, the household of Onesephorus sends their greetings. Guard? Guard, may I have someone write down a letter to Timothy? I'm afraid things have not gotten any better for him. I must get this to him as soon as possible. Oh, thank you. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, according to the promise of the life that is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God whom I serve, as I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. As I remember your tears, I long to see you, so that I may be filled with joy. I am reminded of your sincere faith. You have followed my teaching, my conduct, my aim in life, my faith, my patience, my love, my steadfastness, my persecutions and sufferings that I suffered at Antioch and at Iconium and at Lystra, these persecutions I endured. And yet, from them all, the Lord rescued me. Indeed, all who desire to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted, while evil people and imposters will go on from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived. But as for you, Continue in what you have learned and that you have firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it and how from childhood you've been acquainted with the sacred writings which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. Remember, all scripture is breathed out by God and is profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction and training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete and equipped for every good work. Greet Priscilla and Aquila and the household of Onesephorus. Eubulus sends his greetings, as do uh, Pudens and Linus and Claudius and all the brothers here. The Lord be with your spirit. Grace be with you. <laughs> 